Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna and today I wanted to talk about craft room specifics a little bit. Um, I wanted to focus on storage for crochet hooks or knitting needles and show you what I did to make my storage a bit more decorative. So let's get started. All right. So here is how I store crochet hooks in my own craft room. There's lots of different ways you guys can do it. I've put them in cups before, um, stored them in kind of a little roll, but I decided a while back to make these a bit more decorative. So you can see here I have hooks here and the longer hooks here some little tiny ones and then miscellaneous metal and plastic so they're kind of divided up by type and i will take one down and show you exactly what i did to make these all right so here's one of the holders that i've taken off the wall and what I did with this, this is just an empty frame that I got at the craft store. Um, it's pretty thick and deep so that I could staple into it. And I'll show you the back in just a second. Um, it was unfinished. And so I painted it this bright turquoise because I love color. Um, and I crocheted a huge square. So that's all this is, is the crocheted square. And this doesn't like to be flipped. There we go. And all I did was staple it to the back of this frame. Um, let me see if we can get in there so you can see that. So I stretched it across and stapled the square in. I just needed to make sure that my yarn was wide enough to be able to slot these through so I can slide them in and out. Um, I did end up covering some of the hooks when I was stapling it in. Um, this used to sit on a picture ledge, so at the time I didn't really care. Uh, later, I went and added some more picture hanging hooks, and again, and these are just screwed in there. So you can see it's a really simple solution um, that solves the problem. Let me go get the other one, um, the small one, so you can see how small those stitches are. I honestly don't remember what size hook I crocheted this with. Um, I know that this was Lion Brand yarn, um, and I probably used, I'm going to say I probably used a size 8 crochet hook because that tends to be the one I use the most. Um, but let me grab the other small um, display and I will bring it right over. All right, so here is the small one for all of these tiny hooks. And you can see the stitches are much tighter, um, but it works the same. It's just a square that I've stapled to the back of the frame. Your frame does need to be fairly thick for this to work. Um, and I added these picture hanging hooks to it. Um, it needs to be something I would say that's solid or um, thicker because you are stretching this material and stapling it in um, and you want those staples to catch. You don't want it to necessarily be like a particle board um, that the staple may not um, catch well in. Um, but again, it's um, just a simple solution, keeps it kind of decorative in the craft room. And you can see that these styles of frames are different, but by painting them the same color, uh, it coordinates together. So you can mix and match, you can keep it, you know, the same decorative style if you want, or go with something a little simpler. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this and found some inspiration in it. If you liked this, please hit the like button. Um, and if there's anything else you guys would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Have a great day.